Hello and welcome to Scotch Whiskey Auctioners vlog. Petrie's Picks. Uh, Big Petrie here again with some of our favourites uh, for the 42nd auction which uh, goes live tomorrow. This is a wee sneak peek at our uh, big dogs, the interesting drums um, and the ones that we just frankly love that are coming up in, the, in this auction. First up we have Glen Burgie. Glen Burgie, not the most spectacularly well known of distilleries but this one's got a cracking, distilled in 1963 Bottled in 2003 by Gordon McPhail, those purveyors of an almost endless conveyor belt of rare and old distillery, uh, old distilled whiskey. Um, Glen Burgie, although first founded in 1810, actually is one of the newer distilleries uh, in Scotland because it was completely rebuilt in 2003. So there's a wee fun fact that you can pass around to your friends while you're enjoying a dram of this cracking 1963 distilled whiskey. Next up for the collectors we have something rather special. We all like to be first. We all like number one. I mean that's what you listen to when you're listening to Top of the Pops. You're waiting to see what was number one. And what we have here is a rare malt. So first of all quite collectible. It's a Glen Uri Royal. Second of all even more collectible. And what makes this one a cracker is this is 0001. This is the first bottle off the line for this release of the 23 year old Glen Uri Royal from Rare Malts. So not only is it a collectible range, not only is it a collectible distillery, it's a very collectible number. Number one. First one off the line. Next up we have two distilleries that have possibly been overlooked a wee bit. They've been in the shade of more glamorous brothers and sisters and stable mates. Balveni, it's not a small distillery by any manner of means, but often Glenfiddich gets the big praise, is all the shining lights, but this one here is a cracking whiskey that deserves to be up there in the bright lights. It's a 40 year old Balveni, this is bottle number 105. Um, brilliant whiskey that comes in, that's what's been described here at Scotch Whiskey Auctions, as a beautiful log. Uh, this wonderful wooden case housing this cracking 40 year old whiskey from Balveni. Next up we have another distillery, as I said, that may have been overlooked by a stable mate. Uh, often this distillery was in the shadow of its more glamorous Glenmorangie uh, cousin, brother, sister. And this is Glenmorry. They've recently been released from that. They're now free to plough their own path, furrow their own field. That's two very mixed metaphors for what is an absolutely stonking whiskey. This was distilled in 1959. It's bottled at 50.9% and it's bottled 52 of 400. So... A rare whiskey, a not very well known distillery, and one that deserves a much, much brighter place in the sun. And this is a great place to start. Next up, in terms of places to start, things that started the whole explosion for Scotch whiskey, black and white as a blend has to be in there. Um, great stories of uh, the old purveyors walking into the finest bars and restaurants and hotels in London demanding very loudly to be served black and white and when they didn't have any kicking up an almighty fuss and having the barman promise that next time that they came in there would be a bottle of black and white behind the bar around the time that they were doing this was this bottle released here this is 1932 black and white it even comes in its original uh, box lovely spring cap and a chance to taste what we was described before here as liquid history whiskey that has survived a world war sessions to be preserved here for a chance for somebody to try that or to look after it for another generation. In terms of collectible interesting and slightly unusual bottles we have 26. We have more than 26 in the whole auction but one lot we have 26. It's symbolized by this uh, this print here and this is the 26 malts from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. 26 samples of whiskey were sent out to different uh, to 26 different designers and writers. Blind, they were given no information about the whiskey. They then tasted it and had to design and write and come up with notes. A lovely artistic creation for some absolutely stellar whiskey. The whiskies were then bottled with their unique labels and this wee book that comes with it as well, describing all the work that went into it, creating this one-of-a-kind release. So we've got it here, we've got the print, the book, and we do have the 26 bottles as well. We decided not to line them up here as it would get a bit cluttered. But as you can see, it's quite cluttered up here. We've got, once again, another auction with huge depth, cracking quality. And uh, it wouldn't be a Scotch whisky auction without a Stella McCallan. 
Now, this month we have three Macallan Oscuros. We have three Macallan Private Eyes. And one of our favourite ones is this one here. This is a Macallan Royal Marriage. But this is the Royal Marriage not for Wills and Kate, those young whippersnappers. No, this is the one for Charles and Di. A vatting of whiskey distilled in 1948 and 1961. And um, this cracking drum is a real chance to taste that lovely sherry, rich um, style of whiskey that let Macallan rise to the very top, the pinnacle of its profession. Talking of pinnacles and tops of their profession, we have Kurosawa. In terms of Japanese distilleries right now, there is none hotter, there is none more cool or trendy, and this one here is a wee bit different. Kurosawa known for their sherry casks. This one here is a 30-year-old bourbon cask. It's 55.8%. 50, this is a fabulous, I love the labels. I don't know about you guys, but the labels on the Kurosawa bottles for me are just cracking. I know it doesn't affect the quality of the whiskey inside, but when you pick up the bottle and you look at this beautiful presentation, it just gladdens the heart. So this is a cracking bottle of Kurosawa here, as I said, 55.8% and 30 years old from a bourbon cask. As we said, that's slightly unusual for Kurosawa to bottle a bourbon cask at that age. Well, for the sherry. What's also exciting about working here at Scotch Whiskey Auction is when you come across a bottle from a distillery and it's not normally seen in that style. And a great example of this, in fact, one of the best examples of this we've come across, is this cracking Cardew from 1974. Cardew, probably better known for that whole pure malt fiasco that happened a couple of years ago. And it's also a light whisky, a very easy drinking whisky, one that you can pour over ice and sip while you're on holiday in Spain. This one here comes from a sherry butt. It's 25 years old, one of only 498 bottles released. It is a cracking drop and a really good chance to try a whisky, a very different whisky from the way you would normally see it. We find this very interesting. We also find interesting whiskies from across the world. We've already had Japan and now we're going to America. This is Angel's Envy, this is a bourbon. Now, we all really love bourbon here. The casks come over for us to, to age whiskey in, but also the whiskey inside that is also some very, very good stuff. And this one here is quite special. It's uh, been aged in, it's been finished in port wine casks. Now we all know Glenmorangie and people have been doing this for years, but it's not so well known in Kentucky. This one has been bottled at a frankly eye-watering 61.5%. So you have all that lovely spicy full-on bourbon, uh, all the bit of lignans coming out of the oak. And then added to that, that lovely spicy richness that you'd get from that fortified wine from Portugal. A really interesting chance to try a very different style of whiskey. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is but a mere taster. A dipping our toe in the ocean of cracking drams that we have available for you this month. I didn't even get a chance to mention the Macallan Rare Cask from the United States. The first one that's come up for auction in the UK. There are a ton of great bottles, really interesting drums. There's Dalmora, Roar is back there. There's everything that you could look for in an auction, from drinking drams right up to your heavyweight collectibles. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, when the auction goes live, get in there, have a rummage around, see what you find, and remember, don't lose your bottle. And also, stay tuned for a little bit of bonus footage that those of you from Sweden might find quite interesting. Hej och välkomna till Scotch Whiskey Auctions. Uh, jag är Alex och vi har något speciellt för hemlandet. Vi har Spirits of Ven, vilket är väldigt intressant. Den kommer från uh, en ö mellan Danmark och Sverige. Så det, det är alltid kul att se från hemlandet. Väldigt roligt. Så uh, den här första utgången vi har från Spirits of Ven och det första gången vi har på aktionen. Vilket är väldigt kul att se. Vi har även en del andra saker, som Macmere för exempel. Så vi får in dem lite här då och då, vilket är... Det är väldigt roligt med så. Men, kom ihåg, det finns vi har massa grejer här på Scorch Whiskey Auctions. Och, kom ihåg, tappa inte bort en flaska.